making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you the good times hello everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to part two of my london vlogs so if you've watched my previous video you will know that we went to london we checked in at the apartment went to westfield went to wonderland and then we had a little mooch around oxford street and went shopping a lot <laughs> so that's a really cute little christmasy vlog if you want to watch it and then this video is part two of the London vlog. I'm actually filming this, as you can see, I'm in my beauty room after I filmed all the next clips because I sat down to edit it this morning and I was like, oh, I haven't actually filmed an intro to this. So really sorry about that. So I thought I could come on here and say hi. This is me in the future, but then you're gonna see me back in London in a minute. So yeah, today's video, we go, we go out for breakfast. We go to Covent Garden. And it's actually split into two days. So Covent Garden, honestly, it was really lovely. And I got some really lovely bits that I'm going to show you guys after you've watched all of these clips. It'll be in this video. And yeah, we got some really lovely things. But honestly, the weather, we couldn't have picked such awful weather. Like, honestly, it was so bad. When we went to South Bank on the last day, it was sunny like typical the last day but it's fine we still done majority of stuff that we wanted to do but it was just harder to film because it was literally like cold windy and rainy there was a storm so it was just really difficult but i really hope you guys are excited to watch this vlog um i had a lot of fun filming it and then after you've watched all the london clips you'll see me here again and i can show you everything that we picked up from london so yeah really exciting so i hope you guys enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel because it really helps to support me and my channel and you can join us and the amazing community that we have grown together so yeah i love you guys so much and enjoy Freddie's in his own little world as always. So it is now Wednesday and I feel like, well I haven't actually picked up this camera in a long time because the 
past two days have been like torrential rain yeah it's just been really hard to like get my camera out of film and obviously we're wearing masks all the time like when we're shopping and stuff like that and then i've got gloves on because it's been so cold so it's just been a bit difficult when we're oh my phone when we're out and about to like get my what that the first time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's just been difficult to get my camera out and film um, when it's just been too cold and rainy and windy and everything, hasn't it? It has. We've managed to avoid, I would say, the worst part of it. Yeah, like, but we've been trying to like go in and out of shops and yeah, I did film a lot of it on my phone. So whenever I like thought I saw something cute or whatever I got my phone out instead um so you would have seen those clips but I just feel bad because I feel like I haven't spoken to you in ages so I just wanted to let you know that is why because it's just been very like busy we've had uh, literally we made an itinerary how do you say it itinerary itinerary, itinerary. Yeah. I always feel like I say it wrong it's because it's spelled itinerary rare yeah but you just say itinerary okay I made an itinerary before we left we did and we actually stuck to it, didn't we? Did. we? Surprisingly. The only thing we missed was Harrods. Yeah, that's the only thing we missed, but it's fine. But we move. We move. Everything else we done, and we had such a lovely time. So yeah, you would have seen the clips that I filmed on my phone, and I also made a highlight. Yeah, I made a highlight on my Instagram page, so um, I took like pictures and videos and stuff throughout the day that I uploaded. So if you want to see that, that is on my Instagram page and I made a highlight. We're now off to a Christmas market because we didn't get to go yesterday. And because it's not raining today, I thought, okay, this is the perfect time to like film properly and have a little catch up. So what Christmas market are we going to? South Bank. South Bank. So we've managed to get a parking space nearby and we're gonna go and have a little mooch around the Christmas markets. It is currently half 10, we haven't eaten yet, but we'll probably find something there. So yeah, I'm excited, are you excited? I am excited. It's gonna be fun, let's go. home we actually got home a few days ago 
and we've just been like cleaning the house and visiting family and doing things like that and I realized that I hadn't actually shown you anything that we got from London a lot of the stuff we picked up are presents so I'm obviously not going to show you the presents in case any of our like friends and family watch but I'm going to show you the stuff that we picked up for ourselves and it's just really cute so I wanted to end this video by showing you everything that we got I've also had so many messages on this bag um this is from a brand called LTL London I actually bought this from Amazon not Amazon what am I talking about I bought this from Instagram <laughs> um, and I followed this brand for a while and then they had a really amazing Black Friday deal so I was like okay I'm just gonna buy something and I love this bag so much however it is broken a little bit here so as you can see this side has got a little metal bit this one fell off so every time we like do the bag up it just like slides open so I messaged them and they were so sweet and sent me a brand new one so I thought we could unbox it together it's white outside and the night is cold everyone's lighting candles in their homes yes it's Christmas It's a magic time. So this is the one that they sent me in replacement because they didn't actually have the one I had in stock. But I actually prefer this one. Um, I'll show you guys the colour difference. You can see the one I have is more pinky. I actually prefer this one. So I'm really happy. So lovely that they sent me another one. So I thought I could link it down below if you guys wanted to pick it up. Um, I burnt myself the other day on my curlers, so excuse that. But how cute is this? I thought this is so lovely, the perfect colour. And honestly, it is such an amazing size as well. So, yeah, it is so cute. So I thought I could give them a mention because they've been so helpful and just really sweet. So I'm really happy. And this colour is absolutely stunning. So that is the first thing <laughs> that I wanted to show you. So next up, we have some items from Dior. This was the Dior in Covent Garden and honestly, we both had the most amazing experience. It was so lovely and look how gorgeous this packaging is. So in this bag, she actually gave me so many samples for myself and Bradley. So Bradley got the new Sauvage um, aftershave, so many of them. And she also popped in the new J'adore perfume. Oh my God, this smells amazing. So I'm so happy about this. I cannot wait to buy the full size version. Look, I was actually using my little one the other day. She popped in a foundation. She actually popped in two of these and I used one of them earlier when I done my makeup today. And oh my God, it is unbelievable. So I actually think I might buy the full version of that as well. Um, in here, so these two are actually skincare. I got a skincare product in here. Oh my God, how cute is that? That's just such a cute sample. So this one is a serum. So I got one of those. And then in here, oh my God, stop it. I actually can't. This is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Um, in here is a really cute, teeny tiny moisturizer. Oh my god, and it's even sealed like they usually seal it. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. So because I got something to do with skincare, she was like, why don't you try these two? And then you know if you want to pick them up as well. Um, and I was like, oh my god, amazing. And then in here, I'm really sad that I didn't do this in better lighting. So I'm so sorry about that. I did actually film an unboxing of this on my Instagram page. So if you want to see like a really cutesy unboxing on my Instagram page, then I did pop it on like a reel. Um, but I just wanted to do it back up again to show you guys. So in here, I actually picked up a couple of things. This is a facial scrub. And oh my God, the lady was so lovely who was selling this to me. And she was like... Honestly, if I had to pick one skincare product from Dior, it would be this. She was saying that her skin's never felt so amazing and soft before and so clear. She was like, honestly, it feels like a baby's bum. And oh my God, I want that. So I picked this up. I haven't tried it yet. It actually comes with a little like spatula, spoony kind of thing, which is the cutest thing ever. And it's really like weighty. And then also a little pouch to put it in. So perfect when you're traveling or anything like that. But that is what it looks like. So it's like a scrub. I popped it on my hand like from the sample in the shop and it's literally felt insane afterwards. So I picked up this one 
and I'm tempted to buy the serum and stuff if I really get on with this so that's like the start of the very bougie skincare but that is different to any other like facial scrubs because it is really fine it's like a sugar scrub she was saying and it is just beautiful so I'm really excited to use this and get rid of like all the little white heads and black heads that I have and then I saw this and I was like oh my god this is the cutest thing ever and it's the most beautiful highlight like honestly it's such a gorgeous shade you can see here it is so beautiful I think I might put that on today because we're actually going to some markets later <laughs> smooth um yeah we're actually going to some markets later so I think I might put this on um, but I thought the packaging as well was just so lovely and it's just really luxury having things like this and they look really lovely on your dressing table as well. So these were the things I picked up from Dior. <laughs> okay, and then I figured I could just show you the other stuff sitting here. Let me adjust the lighting a little bit. This is one of Bradley's stocking fillers. Um, it's from Reese and it is a aftershave. He actually picked it, so I'm going to show you because he picked it. It's in the scent Sienna Heat. And it smells amazing. And they had their whole store smelling of it. And me and Bradley were like, what is that smell? Um, and he tried it on and it was so lovely. It's really like spicy. I mean, I'm not very good at, you know, describing my scents, but it's spicy. We picked up a jumper. This is from my mum's husband from Zara. It's just a really lovely plain jumper for his birthday. I feel like you can't go wrong with Zara. So for my niece, and I hope she's not watching my videos now, um, but we got her loads of cute things from Lush. She's obsessed with bath bombs. And I thought, I mean, where's the best place to buy bath bombs? And it is of course Lush. So they're actually, loads of them are sealed like this, um, but there's ones, oh my God, I need to, out of all of them, I need to show you this one because it is so, so beautiful and you basically get this and you can put the bath bombs through here such a cute idea this is so cute this is called you shall go to the ball how adorable is that she's starting to get into things like that so i thought it's a perfect idea to put it in a little sleigh for her which they actually sell as well um, and then she can have this for one of her presents my sister's gonna kill me but we also got her fairy dust <laughs> <laughs> it's called dusting powder you just put a lot on yourself or wherever and it's fairy dust so so Emily <laughs> she's so gonna kill me but me and Brady looked at each other and we were like we can't not get this she needs it so we got her that and I actually picked up a lip scrub for myself in the scent honey so oh my god that smells amazing so yeah i just need one at the moment for my dry lips in the winter i need this and then this this is elizabeth arden but oh my god if you don't use it and you have really chapped lips try elizabeth arden eight hour collection because it is unbelievable we went into hotel chocolat and this is one of my favorites for like treats um, I haven't actually tried their chocolate, weirdly, but we have a Velvetizer and that is like their OG product and it is the most amazing product for hot chocolates and we actually just use it as a milk frother as well. So sometimes we use our like coffee mocha pot and then we use the milk frother to heat up the milk, but it makes it the perfect consistency and it's not too foamy. It's like amazing. We went in there and I saw, look how cute these little Christmas box things are i thought they're so cute so we picked up a vanilla white drinking hot chocolate oh my god so yummy it's like a white chocolate hot chocolate and then we saw this and this is called the everything selection latte so you've got a cafe latte chocolate latte and a hazelnut latte so i think this is so easy if i want a quick coffee in the morning but i want it to be like christmasy and like chocolatey i think this is perfect or in the afternoon when I need my little pick-me-up coffee. So, yeah, I'm so excited. I have a rose gold velvetizer. I'm sure you've seen it before. But I actually want the white one now. There's no point buying a new one because I've already got one. But I really want the white one. <laughs> Bradley's like, don't even look at it. Just don't. I'm like, oh my god. So, that was everything that we picked up. The rest of the stuff we got, like from Selfridges and stuff. Their presents. 
Um, I also went to two different Primarks. I went to one on Oxford Street and then the one in Westfield. So like two main ones. It wasn't that great, if I'm honest. I actually preferred the Brighton one, which I never thought I'd say. But I still managed to pick up a lot of stuff. So I can't wait to film a haul for you guys for that. So that will be coming next week sometime. I don't know when, but it will be coming next week. Um, and then yeah, the rest of its presents and things like that. So I just wanted to end this video by showing you guys everything that I did pick up and the stuff that I could show you because I'm sure you guys wanted to see. I mean, you might not have, but I've showed you anyway. I'm also really sorry about the awful lighting, but I just wanted to end this video and say a massive thank you for watching and supporting me and just for being so sweet and leaving the loveliest comments ever. It honestly means the world to me that you support me and my channel and I love how we've grown this lovely community and it's still growing and it's just so lovely. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much and I really hope you enjoyed these London vlogs. It was honestly so much fun. I mean, I don't wanna think of the negatives because I always think it's important to just focus on the positives. All I'm saying is if it wasn't raining, I would have filmed more it was just a little bit annoying but we still had a lovely time like honestly we had the loveliest time it was just the weather and then the last day it was sunny so that made a lot of sense but it's fine we just need to pick the days more wisely next time <laughs> but it's so unpredictable in England you just don't know but yeah thank you so much for watching and supporting I love you guys so much you're all so sweet and I wish we could all meet up and like go for brunch or something together I feel like that'd be so lovely but yeah I love you guys so much subscribe and click the bell notification so you're notified on every single time I upload like I've said like during this busy period there are a lot more uploads than what I usually do. So make sure you stay tuned and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. You can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy.